Uh, once again, I welcome you to another wonderful class. Um, this is for JSS1 and uh, it's computer science with the topic computer software. I am still your uncle, Uncle Success Gino Sonoha. All right. Uh, the specific objectives of this lesson is that students will be able to understand the types of computer software, types of system software, types of computer translators. Then, textbook, notebook, and e-learning. Uh, these are our instructional materials. Okay. Previously, we learned about booting. Uh, I hope we still remember what booting is all about. Um, the types of booting, the steps for booting, and the steps for system shutdown. I hope we still remember all these. So, if I ask a question, you can be able to uh, answer me on booting, the types, the steps, and the steps for uh, system shutdown. Okay, now we move into uh, today's lesson. Definition of computer software. Uh, computer software is a set of instructions or programs instructing a computer to do specific tasks. This is a set of instructions, okay, or the programs instructing a computer. Now, these things are the things that instruct computer on a specific task on what a computer should do. Okay, on a in your work computer, if you game, number game you man. So this is what this software is all about. Okay, so software in a computer gives computer instruction on what to do at a specific time. All right, okay. Now we're talking about this software. Uh, we have system software and we have um, application software. These are the types of software that we have. And we're going to look at them. We're going to look at uh, these softwares, the system software and the application software. Now we have the system software. Okay, these they're just programs that control all the operations of computer. Okay, so this system software controls all the operations of the computer. If any in a computer when it came in, this software controls them because it serves as a base for application software. So because of that, it's just like um uh, 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 uh a place where computer stands okay just like a foundation where computer stands because it controls the operations of the computer that is this system software we are talking about all right now we have these types of um, system software number one we have our operating system software number two we have the translator system software and number three, we have the utilities system software. Now, let's look at these three system software, the operating system software, the translator system software and the utility system software. Now, we're starting with the operating system software. Okay, this software is just what manages computer Okay, the software that manages computer hardware and software resources. We're talking about this operating system. So it manages, okay, the computer hardware and the computer software. So the two things about this computer is what this operating system cares about. Okay, so both the hardware and the software is what it manages. Okay, so it and provide common services to computer programs so that the computer users can be able to enjoy. Okay, that we use computer without any stress at all. 
So that is the work of this operating system software. We look at translator system software. This software allows new programs to be written and run in computers. Now, for a computer to accept a new program, for a new program to be written in a computer, it can be done by the help of translator system software. Okay, so it allows new programs to be written in a computer. It, uh, it allows new programs to be run in a computer so that users, when they're using computer, they will find it very, very easy. And computer will be as easy as everything because there are going to be a very good communication. You know, computer, I used to tell you, is like garbage in, garbage out. What you give in is what computer will give you out, okay? So now for computer to be so easy and so sweet because of a program that is in that computer and for that program to run effectively, it can be done by translator system software. So this is the work of this translator system software. Now, we have type of translators. Number one type of translator is what? Assembler translators. What did I say? Assembler translator. Somebody say it. Yeah, assembler translator. An assembler translator assemble language. Okay, that is the low level language. The low what? Level language. Okay, so it translates it translates assemble language that is the low level language into a machine code into what a machine code okay that is what no i i i think i've told you people that computers we have low level language and we have high level language for those people who are uh, program computer programmers okay the beginners they can be able to communicate with the computer effectively through the help of a low-level language. That is the programming the, the program that they are writing, while the high-level language is for professionals. All right? So this assembler translator assembles the low-level language into a machine code, in a code that machine computer will be able to understand. Now we have another type of translator. We have interpreters. Okay, interpreters is just convert the high level language into machine code. It's not like an assembler. This interpreter converts high level language into machine code. How does it convert it? It converts it line by line. Okay, it converts it with line by line. Now another type of translator we have. Is compilers. This converts high level language into machine code all at once. Okay, translators convert line by line, but compilers convert it all at the same time once. So this is different between compiler and translator. Translator com convert it line by line, while compilers convert all at the same time once. Now, still on the type of system software. Now, we have utilities. Now, utility software is a system software that is designed to help analyze, configure, optimize, and maintain a computer. So, the, the work of this is to analyze, to configure, to maintain the computer. Okay? And it is used to support the computer infrastructure. Now, people make use of the computer can be able to use the computer effectively and e efficiently. It maintains computer. That is the work of this utility. Okay? Now, we have examples of utility softwares. We have number one, viral scanner. Okay? You, as the name implies, I told you that virus is something that you cannot see, okay? You can't see virus, but you feel it that it is at work. Like you have phones, phones that have virus, you can't see the virus, but you know that this phone has virus because of what? It may not be functioning well. So a virus scanner 
is used to protect the computer system from virus attacks. Okay, uh -huh. like we have um, antivirus and all this. There are softwares that when you have them on the phone, it fights against virus. If virus comes, virus will not rest on that phone on your computer because of what virus scanner. Now, another example of utility software is disk defragmenter. Disk defragmenter. This used to detect computer files whose contents are scattered across several locations on the hard disk. Now, most of the times, virus can make files on the computer to scatter. It can help, it can make files to do what scatter around. You can see one file in one folder, you see another file in another folder, you see another file in another folder. Okay, so the thing we virus will scatter it, but with this defragmenter, it will do what it will dictate those files, okay, and bring them together again. That is the work of the disk defragmenter. Those files, wherever they are, wherever they have been scattered, wherever they are, the disk fragmenter dictate the files and bring them back again and bring them to one and make them to start working effectively well. Another example of utility software is file manager. We all know file manager as many that uh, have access to our parents' phones, you know, their phones, we have file managers. But what is the work of this file manager? It provides a convenient method of performing routine data management and managed tasks such as deleting, renaming, and running sites and folders. So it, it has a lot of work to do. It's in charge of managing the tasks in computer, in a laptop, in your phone. Okay, like a sort of deleting data, so you want to delete whatsoever thing, uh, you want to um, you save something on the phone or on the laptop, you want to rename it, you want to change the name. Now, is the work of this file manager, it works, okay, and running sites and folders. So, it provides convenient method of performing routine data in our phones, even in our laptops or computers. Now, we look at the evaluations. So, I believe that by now, you have been able to understand the computer softwares and the types and the functions, how it works, the types of the computer softwares and how it all works. So you will not be confused, you will not be surprised when you go out there, somebody will tell you, um, a computer software, computer software. Imagine you know the person, now Uncle Chino also have to explain this to you via e-learning so that you'll be able to understand what computer software is all about and the types and the functions so that by the time we school resumes, it's not going to be uh, a new thing to you, a new topic to you. But by that time, you have finished, you've gone through it, you've listened to it, you've done the assignments, and you are now okay. Now, we look at the assignments. Students should write down three steps involved in saving a document. Now, you want to save a document in a laptop, you type it on microsoft word after after you know um typing what are the steps involved in saving it okay can you take she save way on a laptop on her phone okay have a phone now let's talk about laptop can you take it save way on a laptop so that you should go the laptop down after so many years you still come back again you open the laptop you go to your folder, you go to where you save it and open it again and start your work. Number two, write what is the short key for saving a document. What is the short key for saving a document? Okay, I think I have told you, I have given you notes about the short keys, or computer short keys. Okay, how, you know, to save, you know, I don't want to talk more so that I will not give you expo. I know you are waiting for me, Uncle Chino, so talk, 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 talk. 
or seems all of those who hey, you write it down, but I'm not going to talk. <laughs> you understand? I'm not going to talk again. Then number three, what is the difference between cold booting and warm booting? I made that last time before I met you. Out so still refresh your brain. I hope you have your note there, but I don't want you to open your notes. Just tell me with your don't look at your notes. Write it off here. The difference between cold booting and warm booting. All right. This assignment should be submitted by Monday. Monday should be um fifteenth, if I'm correct. Uh fifteenth of June or so. But it should be submitted on that day. Thank you and God bless you. Until we hear again, I appreciate.